Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and this is a bit of a different video from something I've, from anything I've done before. The closest I've done is like a talking heads video, which this is like a moving heads video because I'm currently going 70. I'm going the speed limit. I'm going 72 miles an hour. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so Ryan's older brother, who I will not name, uh, gave me two tickets to PAX uh, for the final day, which is today, on Monday of, what month is it? September. Yeah. <laughs> and he gave me two tickets. So you're probably wondering who's holding the camera, who I will point the camera at when I get out of the car because it would be awkward for her to hold her camera, hold my camera backwards like that because it's not a selfie cam. Uh, safety reasons. Yeah, safety reasons. <laughs> so you've never met this person on the channel before, but that will hopefully change soon. Um, this is holding the camera, my girlfriend Maya. <laughs> uh, could you like wave in front of the camera? Yeah, like that. <laughs> So we're going to PAX. We're really excited. Uh, the people I'm excited to see, I guess I'm not masking it. Like, I'm excited to see people. Uh, I'm hoping to see, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see Steven George from Steven Plays. I'm fairly certain I'll probably see the Runaway Guys, unless they're, they skipped out on Monday to go record something, which is entirely possible. Um, I'm probably going to be seeing uh, Josh Jepson. Um, I'm hoping to see probably Miss Anella, um, TWD98, who is a Mario Kart Wii YouTuber. Um, he's new-ish. I mean, he, it's, it's recent that he started actually getting subscribers. Uh, so those are the main ones I'm looking for. Otherwise, like any any other per, uh, person in the Let's Play community, I'm excited to see. Uh, Markiplier won't be there, is that correct? I haven't seen anything. Okay, and usually they say there's a meetup, right? So. And he hasn't been posting anything. Yeah, about so. Pax. The Jacksepticeye is definitely going to be there because I saw him on the schedule for yesterday, I think. That he I saw anything. pictures on his Instagram. Yeah, so him. he he is there. Um, I don't watch him, but Maya does, so she can be happy with that. Uh, otherwise, I. There aren't too many panels I'm really interested in today, but I'm just excited to walk the floor. I'll be trying to point the camera at people when I can and at things when I can, probably whenever I'm in a line. If I was going all every day of PAX, I would definitely be filming a lot more, but because this is my one day at PAX, I want to like make sure I optimize my time because time. So yeah, uh, cool. I guess I'll see you when we get there. So we just got to, well, we didn't get to the convention center. I guess we got to the parking garage? Yep. And, uh, here. There's Maya. In, in her blurry glory. She, she's still blurry. I think she's just a blurry person. So, yeah, we're gonna be going into line. We got here just on time. Um, driving was annoying, because, you know, it's the city. Uh, yeah, see you in line.
here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think I'll have to be content with that. That I've reached the pinnacle of, of deer dominance and superiority to reach the top with my dearly powers. Cannot believe that we're here. Like, I really can't believe it. Yeah, right? to the Nintendo exhibit because it was closed because because Nintendo had one line for two games. Is it this? No. Oh wait, Derp. Escalator, yeah. So now we're going to my car to the security thing to pick up some knives that I took. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I mean to be fair, it was a it was a keychain knife. So like they close at five for some reason, then we're gonna go eat and then we might come back, we're not sure. So food! Well, that was fun. We got out at five. No. Yeah. Yeah, right. Earlier than five, because they weren't closing yet. It was about quarter till. Yeah, we were told that they were actually closing at six, even though it's supposed to close at seven. So we decided, okay, we're we basically saw everything. Uh, we didn't go to any of the other buildings. We just went to the two main ones, uh, and there were. We'll get away from this semi truck. Uh, <laughs> there were hotels that had uh, other things. We didn't see any panels. At Unfortunately. All. Unfortunately, but I mean, it was our first day. To be fair. First and only. Well, yeah. It was. It was the first time we'd ever been to PAX, so it's kind of like. Do you really want to be going to see panels when you know that you won't get another opportunity to go see the floor? Eh. So what we did see, um, we wandered around for quite a long time. Um, Several hours? Not quite sure what to do. It was, it was honestly really daunting. Like, when you see all that stuff and all these lines to commit to, it was really daunting. Especially when you first walk in not knowing what to fully expect. Yeah, and one thing, one gripe I have about PAX, I think, is that the map of the, the venue wasn't, super, wasn't distributed that well. You had to use the app to get the map or find the map in this one location. We only ever saw the map once. I saw it twice. Once was when you first go in. Okay, so twice. Before you go on to the escalators to go upstairs. So it... For us, just arriving, it was like, does this end? Is this, does this go on forever? So that was a bit weird. Um, Never ending story. When we finally did latch on, I believe our first, our first uh, stall, if you want to call it that, was Deer Simulator? No, it wasn't. Was it not? Was no, it was, um, no, it was Aether. 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 Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. So we went to Rivals of Aether. Um, I used to play that back in college uh, with a friend of mine. I'm so rusty at it. Uh, I basically all I could do was melee movement because melee movement, you know, I that's something I still do. So 
that was fun. Uh, I, I found out for the first time that it's being ported to the Switch. I didn't know about that. Apparently it's been in the works for a while. Um, so that's cool. Um, then we went to Deer Simulator, and that... Interesting? That was... That was hilarious to play. It, it was so dumb, but it was... It was a fun dumb. It was entertaining, but really weird at the same time. It was definitely born out of someone's, like, fever dream. Or they were tripping. Where at one point, the deer is just, like, running through the town like this. He's running like a muscle man. But he's running, like, at sonic speed. It, it was something. Um, that was fun. Uh, we also played, uh, uh Dead Cell? I, I want to yeah, say yeah. that's what it was called. Yeah, it was Dead Cells. Which is like a, a, a 2D dungeon crawler um, with RPG elements. I, I guess that's just a dungeon craw a crawler. That was that was surprisingly good, and if that were on the Switch, I think I might get it. And there's a chance I'd even play it on the channel. Like, that was yeah. that was fun. I could see that being fun to watch. Um, then there was... Shovel Knight? There was Shovel Knight, but bef wasn't it before that that we played the... Um, the one that I played with you. It's like oh, a, uh, it was like a, it was like a farming game or like a kingdom developing game. Yeah, it was like one. From what I played from the demo, it was like one player settlers of Catan. It was yeah. Even the even the piece movements looked like the pieces from Settlers. Yeah, my only thing with that is they showed soldiers being used, but they never showed what they're used for. Because the tutorial ended right and before that. I think the tutorial should have been expanded a little bit because all it looked like was the gameplay and stuff for you in the next tutorial. It took us like three minutes each. Yeah, it should have been a little bit longer. Whereas most of the games with the tutorials... Were like ten or, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So, it was interesting. Uh, I could, it's, it's a good game. It would probably be a good game. Like, It's a couch game. It's a couch game. It's something I would do if I was bored. Yeah, you curl up on the couch with some comfort food and you play this. Mm -hmm. uh, like Seagull Blade X. Like, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to dance around the big thing I did. Uh, Nintendo was closed. Are you? Am I on frame? Yeah. Okay. Um, Nintendo was closed. That was ridiculous. So, I never saw an opening to their line. It was always capped. And their problem was that they had Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, and The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake. And the, the latter two were sharing a line. They used the same exact line. So they were always capped. I never saw them not capped. So finally when we got there, it looked kind of sparse, and he's like, oh, we're actually capped for the day. No one else is entering this line at all. So like, man, that stinks. So that was dumb. That, that was really dumb. Like, I actually was wanting to do Link's Awakening. Yeah. But, oh well. I got to play Borderlands 3. What, what? And that was fun. Um, Ryan, myself, and a friend of mine, are, or a friend of Ryan and mine, are looking to play Borderlands as a squad. And... Not promising that that will come to the channel, but it might come to the channel in form in the form of like a salad video. Uh, but I played who I wanted to play, which is Bose, also known as Diva. <laughs> <laughs> and I've played a little, actually, I played a little bit of Borderlands 2 beyond what I played on the channel. The channel was just uh, an ABO, uh, which is like 40 minutes. Um, I played a little bit longer than that, but not much. Wasn't so, that because your computer was having issues? No, it was fine. Or, no, uh, it was just time, and I got into it very late, where all my friends were like almost max level, and I wasn't, so it was like, eh, kind of a disconnect there. But mm. it was fun from what I played. It felt very familiar if you've played Borderlands 2. Moe's felt good. Um, I looked at the skill trees. I spent a little bit of time looking at the skill trees, and that was my... Th I had a problem with some of the skill trees in Borderlands 2 where um, some of the upgrades are literally just passive stats and from what I saw there was very little of that. There were passive bonuses but it was like incendiary damage is, uh, is 
spread over a wider area. Or when you do this, your your allies shoot uh, do incendiary damage on their attacks for a few seconds. So it's like you can play around it and you can build towards the skill points you're getting. So I, I was happy with that. Uh, I didn't see any flat stat bonuses. The the demo was done before I knew it. Um, it felt like I just started playing and then I was getting off. But it was fun. I was forced to play on a controller, unfortunately. Not my preferred mode of play. Um, but yeah, we saw, I only saw, well, I actually saw a few in real life friends of mine. Um, but then I saw, right when we got out of the parking garage, I saw two content creators who, um, I'm not super, super familiar with their names, but they do stuff over for Wizards of the Coast. Um, they do like short uh, skits. And I'll put the, their pictures and names up on screen. First packs, I, I think was good. Yeah, I think that was a lot of fun. Would yeah. totally go again since I know what to expect this time. I definitely want to go for a few more days. Yeah. I think I wouldn't want to go for all four days. I think I might three is the cap for me. Maybe even two. Yeah. Depending just, on like who is doing what, like what seminars there are. And want to go for like the first couple days when there's the most like people that are speaking. Yes, but that it, it was fun. I enjoyed PAX. Did you enjoy PAX? I did. I had a lot of fun. I yeah, it was it was good. I got some dice. Uh, I play D and D with my friends, and I also play Magic. So my dice have been quite the hodgepodge for the past forever. Amen to that. And so I got to get some hodgepodge. I got them in the the Pal Plays channel color, which is like a light ice blue. Um, they're so nice. And they're frosted too. They're frosted glass. They're which so I've never pretty. Because there were a lot of cool like indie games and stuff that we didn't get a chance to play really. Yeah. That's definitely something I wish I could improve because it's one of the things I've heard about PAX when people have gone is, hey, we got to play this cool indie game and as we're playing it, the developers of the game are right next to us talking about this. And it's like, yeah. it's that sounds great. But you really need more time to be like, on this day, I am going to the indie area, and that is what I'm doing for the day. Yeah. And it, it's hard when you're only there for one day to commit to that, because it's like... There's so much. It, yeah, you feel like you're cheating ev everything else by dedicating your time to that one thing. So, mm -hmm. I think part of it, part of our my wishy-washiness was just like the limited time we had. Yeah. But, all in all... I enjoyed PAX. That was definitely fun. Actually, I'll, I will talk about this one downside because I... Actually, how much time is remaining on the... Uh, four and a half minutes. Okay. Uh, we'll have to, like, start and stop the recording when it reaches me on that. But that's, that is my biggest rant about PAX is Seattle's driving is terrible. It's we, awful. We don't talk about that. So, at one point... If you are not from Washington, which I know a lot of, a surprising amount of my viewers are actually East Coast, um, but Seattle's driving is terrible. Uh, there are lanes where cars are literally parked. Like, the people left the cars. They're just gone. Yeah, it was like 10, 30 minute parking, and it looks like lane. it should be a lane. No, but it, it literally says turn only, and there, there are cars parked, and the owners are not in the cars, and the cars are just sitting there. That wasn't cool. That was exceedingly dumb. I hate Seattle. <laughs> there were crosswalks that were not marked at all, that were not at intersections. So you're supposed to yield to to these pedestrians. pedestrians and it just like, they're, they're suddenly a, a stampede of pedestrians on the street. You're like, why? And then you look to your left and you're like, oh, there's a little lit up sign saying walk. Yeah, and those take forever to turn, and then it's like you only have a few seconds yes. to react once the red hand shows up telling you not to walk anymore, but there's still people walking. There, It's definitely not set up for a PAX environment, and no, Seattle, if Seattle has like, how many minutes are left? Uh, two. Okay. If Seattle has like little tablets in their restaurant saying like entertainment tablets, they're literally making iOS games using like taxpayers' money. They should oh, yeah. also be using taxpayers' money to f make 
the convention center traffic lights better. Like, that just seems like a given, but... Or to pave the roads? Yeah, like, uh, Seattle has some things to do. Mm -hmm. And it's terrible driving in Seattle. Maybe it's because I, we both come from the country, but like, hmm. No, it's not it's just that. that. It's Olympia is better. Olympia is a breeze. Olympia is fine because I can navigate Olympia. Seattle, uh-uh. Yeah, no. Seattle's just you crazy. drive. I said all in all a few times. Great packs. Uh, I'm gonna do one more, one more video when I, I drop off Maya, and then. And I'll end off the vlog there. So, see you in a moment, and when I see you, it'll probably be dark out because the sun is just setting. Yep. So we just got back, or I'm dropping her off, and then I'm headed home. So dark. <laughs> <laughs> We're both dead. But I, I actually, I realized that in that whole thing, I didn't really ask Maya, like, what she thought of it. So what do you think of it? I think it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it. You didn't play... You played one thing. I'm getting used to gaming. Yes, yes, because... I'm not a gamer like him. I'm she, getting used to it. She grew up with it, with like Ocarina of Time, but she's getting back Game into cube. it. GameCube! But she's getting back into it, so... Slowly. Ever so slowly. Maybe next PAX, if there's a next PAX. We should. We yes. Should definitely do it. Yes. I, I want to do it again. Alright. I just want to check in there. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> And I'm back, back home. What a day, that that was something, that was, I never thought I would be able to go to PAX, I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to vlog too, and also, now you've seen and met my girlfriend, so, three birds with one camera, and one long road trip. Whew. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have two minutes left, 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 left on the on my memory card. I've actually taken a lot of footage today. So I'm going to hit the hay. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to relax. And oh, um, I, I just thought I, you know, I probably showed these earlier, so I think it's fine. Oh, my brain is scattered. Uh, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy Kirby which comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. That series is great. I'm rambling. Whew. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll... I'll see you some other time. <laughs> uh, good night. Oh, la baguette. <laughs> oh, la baguette. Baguette. Yo! Yeah.